Would you like to earn $120 for a single short video? Because that's how much Danco pays for it. Almost everyone who makes such videos uses After Effects, but in this video, I will show you how to make videos of similar quality for completely free. This video is part of my new course, which you will find on school.com. My goal with this is not to make a flashy video, but to give as much value as simply as possible. If you have an idea how I could make these videos even better, please write it in the comments. Let's get started. Videos and Animation In this module, I will show you where I usually download videos from and what tricks you can use to transform these videos into your own style. The link collection, already mentioned in the Assets module, will contain all sources, which I will constantly expand and improve. But here is a quick summary. Social media links like YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Creators worth following on these platforms, and my favorite links and software to download from the previous sites. Colors play a pivotal role in the narrative woven in your pictures and videos. The color editor, in the adjustments tab, will help you to modify and substitute colors. It will help bring vibrancy and life to your photos, or change it completely with just a few simple tweaks. With these custom filters you can explore a variety of filters to add unique tones and moods to your photos and videos. You might find an excellently captured image or video to be below expectations, or not what you initially want in your videos. So you need to master these adjustments to create the vibe you want. The temp and tint properties will help you reshape the color palette to precisely convey the desired ambience and fine-tune you images and videos. Basically, you can move the tint property to make the blue or yellow colors pop out more. With the tint property, you can do the same with the green or purple colors. For example, deeper blues can infuse a sense of solemnity into an image, while warm yellows transport you to the sun-soaked embrace of a beach day. Or in our case, we can make the colors like the purple color to pop out more, so we can use other tools like the chroma key to make a better job. CapCut allows precise adjustment of hues and saturation levels, enabling you to tailor the color palette to your liking. If you max out the saturation, all your colors will pop out more, making them more vibrant, or in our example, we will turn it down completely to make this colorful diamond animation a simple black and white video. The previous properties manipulated the colors, and the next properties will manipulate the lightness in your assets. Each one has a bit of a different effect, so you need to play around a bit to get a feeling for them. Adjusting brightness is essential for enhancing the visual appeal of your photos and videos. It can help correct underexposed or overexposed images, make colors more vibrant, and highlight important details. Contrast is the degree of difference between the brighter and darker parts of an image. Increasing contrast will increase the difference, thus making the image more vibrant. Decreasing contrast will decrease the difference, thus softening the image. Lower the highlight slider to darken the brightest sections of the image and recover lost detail, or increase it to make your brightest areas even lighter. Move up the shadow slider to reveal details lost in the dark sections of your photo without washing out the image. Whites and blacks will make the light and dark areas to pop more, while the brilliance property will adjust these both at the same time. Okay, now let's apply what we've learned and practice a bit with a specific example, say the diamond animation shown in my Danco video. This is the initial video that I downloaded from YouTube. As you can see, this is a pink diamond animation with a green background and white outlines. In our case, we need a simple black and white diamond animation. There are two options, either I continue to search on free or paid sites, or I get a little more creative and transform this animation. First, I remove the green background using the chroma key. As you can see, it didn't do a nice job around the diamond. I can increase the intensity, but if I overdo it, some parts of the diamond will disappear. But the tint and saturation properties can help with this. If I simply increase the values like this, you can see that the animation is much more vivid, but the end result is the same. The reason for this is that the chroma key always considers the original video state before color corrections. In order to eliminate this, we need to remove the chroma key, increase the saturation and tint values, convert it into a compound clip, and then use the chroma key again. The difference is visible, even the basic setting gives a much better result, and when maxed out, not so many white parts disappear. A quick pro tip. It might be worthwhile to export the converted video on its own and use it instead of the compound clip, because if we wanted to convert it to another compound clip later on, CapCut would no longer allow it. 
Now that we have the basic video, and the background is gone, we can start converting it to Danco style. First, it needs to be black and white, so let's reduce the saturation to a minimum to get a smooth black and white effect. In order for the result to be clearly visible, in this example video, I will max out the values, but of course it has to be set individually for each video to get the best possible result. First of all, I reduce the exposure value to a minimum so that the remaining parts of the green background around the diamond disappears. After that, I maximize the contrast, highlight and whites values so that the lines of the white parts stand out as much as possible. And finally, I reduce the shadow and blacks values so that the gray parts also disappear and only the white frame remains. If you overdo it, the white lines start to disappear, so you have to play with these values a bit to get the best possible result. It is worth checking the entire animation to see if everything is in order and to correct the values if necessary. And finally, the last touch, change the blend property from default to screen in the basic submenu of the video menu. This will make all the black parts disappear and only the white outline remains. And we are done. That's all for me for this video. If you want more, check out my school course. You can download all the assets I've created for this video for free. Link is in the description. And as always, like, subscribe, and leave a comment for this nice guy.